The district is committed to maintaining an educational environment in which all students are treated with respect and dignity. This policy prohibits discrimination and sexual harassment of students by other students, employees, volunteers, or other persons at school-related activities. Harassment includes activity that creates a hostile educational environment or that adversely interferes with the student's safety, education, or participation in school-related activities. Although harassment may be manifest in a variety of ways, such as verbally, in writing, graphically, or physically, this list shows the protected classifications that may not be used as a basis for the harassment. Sexual harassment is defined more specifically in this policy, but the general description is that comments and behavior of a sexual nature are prohibited, particularly if it is explicit or degrading. Bullying and hazing are further defined in a separate policy, but are similar to the other forms of harassment mentioned here. Bullying might be physical or psychological. It may be conducted in person or using verbal or written communication, perhaps online or via other technology. Hazing is another form of bullying that endangers the safety, health, or well-being of a student for the purpose of initiation or acceptance in a school-sponsored team, organization, or event. Prohibited adult-to-student conduct is included in this policy. Essentially, the focus is on preventing sexual harassment and includes any behavior that would give the appearance of impropriety or that would cause the student to feel uncomfortable, regardless of whether there is student complaint or whether the behavior is overtly sexual. Students subjected to discrimination or harassment are encouraged, but not required, to first confront the harasser and tell them to stop the unwelcome conduct. The Student Bullying, Discrimination, and Harassment Complaint Form is completed and delivered to a school administrator to document incidents of harassment or discrimination. This might be done by the student, or it might be done as a result of verbal reporting of conduct to a teacher or administrator. Teachers are required to report incidents to the school administrator, regardless of whether or not the victim files a complaint. School administrators will contact parents for each student involved in incidents of bullying, harassment, hazing, or retaliation. They also keep a record of these notifications. All allegations of bullying, harassment, or discrimination against a student must be reported to the coordinator of student services. The director of human resources is involved if the conduct concerns an employee or other adult. If there are repeated violations or severe infractions, the coordinator of student services or law enforcement will also be contacted. Investigation of complaints is usually handled by the site administration, but might be done by district level administrators instead. The district would like to respect the privacy and anonymity of all parties and witnesses to complaints, but there are also obligations to investigate incidents, take action to resolve problems, and cooperate with law enforcement. Any act of reprisal against someone who has filed a complaint or assisted in an investigation is prohibited and subject to disciplinary action. False, malicious, or frivolous complaints of discrimination, sexual harassment, or bullying shall result in disciplinary action against the complainant.